Hey folks, we're going to talk about bracing and breathing and how those things are uh, sometimes in opposition, how you manage this. You'll notice in our programming, we're frequently asking you to squeeze your abs, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your quads, bear down hard. And you could hear from my voice, I wasn't really exaggerating, that when you really brace your abdomen hard, brace your trunk hard, you can't breathe. This isn't consistent with that open, big motion of a, a big, deep breath. So the question comes up, it gets directed at us a lot, both in the gym and, uh, and uh, in our online offering, uh, how do I breathe? And sometimes we joke a little bit about it and say you don't, but the fact is you hold a sustained position for any length of time, more than a few seconds, you have to breathe a little bit. You can't, this can be done, and uh, we're gonna show you how. So there's a couple of drills here. The key is, first of all, we have to establish this, this base condition or, or f fundamental condition that your muscles in your trunk and your midsection are completely thoroughly engaged. You need this for stability for whatever move you're doing. And again, how do I hold that stability and at the same time breathe? All right, so for instance, Zach here has squeezed his abs, he's bearing down hard, and he's starting to extend his legs a little bit. He's increasing the leverage. He's holding this hard, pushing his low back into the ground as hard as he can. It's a really, really tough contraction here in his abs. And at the same time, he's managing to hold this for a little while. What you can't see, and you couldn't see it even if we did a close-up, because there's very, very little motion, is <laughs> maybe you could hear that, a little tiny, shallow, uh, you can move a little bit of air in the top of your lung. And you saw while I'm yakking, he held that for a good 30 seconds. Let's do a drill to, uh, we need to do this one. Gilbo? What are you talking about? Bear down on you? Yeah. yeah. Let's do a drill to start to demonstrate how you can learn to feel this. With a partner, uh, the way we'll get started is I'm gonna put fist, uh, just cause it's a smaller contact point, I can bear more weight down. Uh, right in the soft part of his tummy. He's gonna lay out flat first. Um, go ahead and start from passive, please. Passive, he's just laying down. Abs are off, there's an arch in the low back here. He's not ready. If I squished on his tummy right now, it would hurt. So he's gonna get ready. You'll see his abs shorten, and his low back is now pushed into the ground hard. This shortened the front of his body a little bit. Now I'm gonna lean on his tummy and put some weight on there. And I'm, I put most of my weight on there. We want to do this drill and hold it for a little bit. Put, do, do that drill and, and, and make him hold it for 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 if you can do it. I'm going to do a different variation of this where I'm actually going to kind of perch on him and put pressure on my body weight on him with my shin, all right? So I want to we're not going to jump, you don't jump on your partners here, right? None of that. We're going to ease on and make sure you can get off when they want you off, right? So what I'm going to do is get kind of straddle and put my shin right on him. I don't have any weight on him yet, but now I'm slowly settling weight on. Don't, don't surprise your partner. Don't, we're not playing that game. But I'm putting a lot of weight on. He's holding. I can feel him shallow, shallow panting while we're doing this, and I'm holding. After a while, you may feel him start to get squishy or sh shaky in there, or he'll start making little panic noises like, get off him, <laughs> right? and then put your hands down and get off him. Uh, the point of this drill is that it really forces you to tighten up. I mean, I had a lot of weight on him, and he had absolutely had to be tight. And we held it long enough that you also have to figure out now how to breathe. There's a way to do both. Now. An important point here is that the breathing that you do when you're fully engaged is not satisfying. It's not a big, fulfilling, resetting kind of a breath. It barely suffices. You're, you're breathing and it's keeping you conscious and it's allowing you to continue, but this isn't fun. It's not fun. Super important though. Important when you're under a big load like a heavy deadlift. Important when you're trying to maintain a very stable position like holding a handstand. And it's a skill that takes time to develop. Uh, and, and it's a skill that once you've learned how to really turn it on hard,
then you can apply it to different situations, and then you learn how to use the level of intensity you need, right? So in other words, you're not going to go f full, you know, maximum pressure all the time for every situation, but we have to start that way. So uh, do some, find a partner, go back and forth, do some of these drills, um, and then, you know, try to apply it when we're asking for maximum tension in the trunk. Thank you, hope this helps.